Captain. Hello. I am satisfied. Give the word and we'll get underway. Hi, Ahoy, good Captain! To see you. something you might be interested in. Hello, Captain. Stay alert. Weapons at the ready. Remain your... human. Pardon my ignorance. We just didn't expect to find people out here. We didn't think anyone else left Earth before us. Imagine being cut off from humankind for that long. How terribly frightening that would be. Perhaps we should greet our guests. Of course. Manners. I'm Captain Diana Brackenridge. This is Security Officer Bomani Reader. Hmm. And this is Dr. Mabuti da Costa, one of our elders. A pleasure to meet you. I see. Well, perhaps we kill two birds with one stone. You see, we're also in a bit of a bind. Our ship has finally completed its near 200-year journey from Earth, only to find our new home seemingly colonized by... Well, we don't know. Communications haven't been successful, so your arrival is fortuitous. Perhaps you'd be willing to act as a middle person between ourselves and... the others. Ah, your question confirms one of our recent theories. It would seem that some form of faster-than-light travel or space-bending technology was invented during our long journey. That would explain why we would find people this far out into space. I guess technology leapfrogged us at some point. Interesting. I can only imagine that our predecessors didn't believe the technology would ever work. And so they made the decision to leave when they did. We're not entirely sure. Our engineers believe it's possible to our technology just isn't compatible with theirs. All we hear when using them to communicate with anyone is a bunch of disturbing noise. It gave me the heebie-jeebies at first. 
Oh yes, of course. Where are my manners? Now then, please follow me. There's much to discuss first. We'll speak more on the matter once we reach the bridge. Dr. DeCosta, you may return to your quarters if you wish. Thank you, Captain. I will follow you to the bridge, ma'am. For security purposes. I do not believe we have need to fear our guest, but I'll allow it if you insist. Welcome to the Earth colony ship Constant. In the early 2100s, my ancestor, Rupert Brackenridge, researched a number of scientific scenarios, climate change, asteroid impact, nuclear war, global pandemic, and more. Each scenario showed the likelihood of an extinction level event to be within 50 years. He fully believed Earth was destined to be rendered uninhabitable. We've always assumed that's what happened. So, he gathered the best and brightest he could find, built the constant, and set a course for this planet here. We were told that it was the largest, most advanced ship ever constructed on Earth at the time. If you can believe, entire generations have been born, lived, and died on this ship. It really goes to show that there are no limits to human ingenuity and perseverance. Never seen a ship like yours before. But then again, I haven't seen any ships we were never trained to address threats coming from outside our ship. So, here we are. Let's talk. We didn't believe anyone would be out here, but I'm glad for it. Well, as I mentioned, we've been unsuccessful in communications with anyone up until you arrived, though not for lack of trying. But since you're asking, maybe you'd be willing to be a sort of diplomat between us and them as we attempt to resolve our situation. Does that sound agreeable to you? Ah, oh, so they have a name. Paradiso. And it sounds promising that they sent you here to speak with us. You see, we intended to settle here, but we assume that they intend to defend their claim given their presence here. We'd like you to go speak to them on our behalf and help us negotiate a solution. Preferably one that favors us. Yes, yes, of course. But we need to start from a firm position and state our goal. If need be, we can compromise, work out a mutually beneficial deal or some such. But initially, I'd like you to be firm with them and convince them to leave the planet to us. Let me know how they respond, and we'll go from there. We thought about it, but it simply won't do. I need to think about the distant future of our people. Sure, our first settlement may be small, but our predecessors dreamt of our new civilization spreading across the globe. That will be difficult if someone else plans to do the same. While we're not completely close to the idea of sharing, it's much easier if we have complete domain over this world. Now, now. It makes little sense to give up before you try. Thank you, and good luck. Just stay out of trouble. is a peaceful ship. Don't change. 
change that. off right away or do you need a little bit of time? I picked up something you might be interested in. Hey. I thought you'd never ask. Here. Maybe another time. Some of our guests think everything is complimentary. Hi there. Have a great day. Excuse me, you can't just waltz in there. Do you have an appointment? You're the one they're waiting for, then. Do you need anything else from me before you meet with the board? Sure. Have fun in the shark tank. And don't worry, even they call it that. I just feel that we should be focusing on the natural beauty of this planet, not our amenities. Come on, mate. Loads more interesting things to do outside. I need to mill about in here. I am. And you must be the... diplomat Jiro told me about. Welcome, welcome. Normally I'd offer you an all-inclusive stay at our resort before we spoke. But given these circumstances, I'm gonna cut to the chase. We've got our friends, the aliens, up there, causing all sorts of problems for our resort. You like that? The marketing team came up with it. The thought is, if we can't get rid of them, it might actually attract more tourism. Come see the aliens! <laughs> ah, we're being direct then. Good on you. So, what do you know about this dodgy ship I'm hearing all about? Well, that's something. Shame we can't just tell them kindly to bugger off. Something tells me that's not gonna work. Now, tell me, what are we going to do about it? Give me some proposals, people. I need something to work with here. Hmm. We could offer to resettle them here. There's more than enough space. They could stay here. Temporarily. But it'll cost them. Quite a bit, too. They'd need to work off all their debts before being allowed to leave. Ah, uh, maybe not. What if we help them get out of here? Outfit their ship with a grab drive so they can find a new home. We could even lend our engineers to help and give their captain an updated star map. What do you think? Sounds costly. We can't absorb that cost, and it's unlikely they even have compatible currency, let alone enough for the transaction. Someone else would have to foot the bill. Oh, I swear this would be a lot easier if they ceased to exist entirely. Anyway, Seema's got the right idea. Either works for me. Just tell me what you want to do. We own this planet. They don't. Here at Paradiso, we don't like leaving things to chance. Who knows what these people will do with their land? Imagine the landscaping disasters they might come up with. And how that might mar the satellite imagery of the planet in our brochures. No, 
much better to assimilate them into our culture if they come here to live, rather than leave it to chance. And that's within your right. But as the CEO of Paradiso Group, I'm the one who has to make an approved decisions around here, not you. So, as much as I appreciate your feedback, it's not in the best interest of the Paradiso Group to take it into account. We operate outside of the Free Stars and the UC, partially because we don't want anyone else meddling in our affairs. And we'd rather not draw attention to it, as I've mentioned. It could be bad for business. We'd much rather settle this independently. And which proposal will you be taking to the good captain? I assume there's a captain? They'd be hard-pressed to defend their claim in any courts. Our charter goes back years. It was registered with both the UC and Free Star Collective, per the Centaurus Proclamation. We may be outside the settled systems, but that charter's official as can be. I'm sorry, but you're going to need to be the one to break the news to them that they need to make a compromise or leave. Right. Assuming they agree to the terms, I've got a list of resources you'll need to gather and bring back so we can support the new arrivals. We'll need to improve our lodging and infrastructure, plus account for future projects to support an increased population. Don't care how you procure them, just make sure to bring them here with you before we can consider this a done deal. Oh, how can we treat these people this way? They survived in space this long, only to end up as indentured servants. Oh, it's terrible. Right. On behalf of the Paradiso Group, we appreciate your help. There are millions of planets out there. People can go to any one of them. The resort facilities are precisely what we bring to the table. Heck, <laughs> it's the only thing we've really got to offer. Ah, I don't want to risk us coming off as just another artificial, shady, trash fiddle dump like Neon. That's not who we are. We've got something special here. We should embrace that. Belong's right. Thank you. I... We don't want to compete with Neon. Bayou's ruthless. He'll do anything he can to eliminate the competition. We don't need that kind of trouble. <laughs> be Jemison, but this ship is starting to feel like home. Come, I won't let my crew down. What's the good word?
then I'd need to know what that catch is before I could form an opinion. That doesn't sound so bad. My crew will need to get used to working for a living anyway. This seems... agreeable. Is that all? I'm not sure what we can spare. That does seem reasonable. I'm thinking. Perhaps there are resources in storage we can scrounge up or recycle. Tell you what, talk to Daisuke and he'll get you what we can spare. If you succeed, we'll see about finding some other ways to repay you as well. Thank you. Don't forget to tell of us in your travels. I have to say, with technology this outdated, I'm amazed this vessel is able to navigate. At all. It's almost like walking through a museum. We've got strict rules around here. They're strict for a reason. Almost time to take inventory of our stock again. Ah, uh, there. Oh! Huh. Um... Nice to meet you. And that's true. As you can imagine, everyone kind of just knows each other around here. Meeting new people isn't really a thing for us. I mean, I don't appreciate you telling me I just need to get over it, but you're not wrong. Everything changed when you arrived. I suspect I'll need to get used to the idea of strangers. Anyway, sorry for freezing up before. I just didn't expect our visitor from the outside to stop by and chat with me. I figured, if anything, you'd be with the captain. I'm Daisuke, the ship's provisions manager. I'm not sure what I can offer you, but if I can help, I will. And if not, I'm happy just to talk. Oh yeah, she sent me a message. I have everything for you right here. It's all we can spare, so I sure hope you come through for us. Need anything else? See you around. I wonder what it's like. beyond our little community. So, where to next?
should inspect your ship for me. If you don't see what you want, feel free. Oh, please take a look. Thanks for shopping at Jemison Merkin. Kyle. The engines? Welcome to Freestar Space. We're going to do a quick scan for contraband and you can be on your way. Go ahead and land.
ship is now docked. Perfect. Didn't even smudge the paint. Captain, it is. Just because our equipment's old doesn't mean it won't work to take down troublemakers. We were never trained to address threats coming from Slates that I've read. Oh, I feel I should know who this person is, but somehow it's escaped my Excellent. memory. I'll have them stowed away for safekeeping. We'll bring them with us when we touch down on the surface. Is that everything now? Are we ready to head planet side? Some of us may have a little trepidation about leaving the ship, but the majority of us are excited. This has been our dream for generations. This generation was not... This is the chance to live on solid ground. Oh, Righto. Oh, this is truly one... If you would be so kind, we lost our landing shuttle years ago, so we'll need a ride down to the surface. Not all of us, mind you. Just myself and a select few others. Will you do this? Splendid. Oh. Just stay out of trouble. Anyone else nervous about this? Never seen a ship like yours before. Then again, I haven't seen any ship. Because our equipment's old, doesn't mean it won't work. Take down troublemakers. We've got strict rules around here, but they're strict for a reason. Are you the one who helped us? I can't A constant is a piece. you again for making this all possible. I'm excited to move to our new home. A little worried, but excited. I heard about the deal we had to make. I sure hope we made the right choice. Reading oh, the good books lately? <laughs> Was that your stomach or mine? Not in a bad way, though. So this is what fresh air is like. I could get used to this. I'm looking forward to making this planet our new home. The possibilities are limitless. A bit frazzled, as you can imagine. People are anxious about... While we hope we can work... I do know that we can't afford to stay... 
The ship was built to sustain us for many years with backup provisions just in case, but even that will come to an end eventually. Just think, if you hadn't had the courage to approach us when no one... First, we need to meet with the settlement's leadership and confirm the details of our arrangement. Once we take care of that business, we'll begin the process of shuttling the rest of our people. I'm confident that with a few adjustments, we'll be able to assimilate into society. Once again, thank you. For you will always be welcome. At